Hi, I'm Darren Burke, business coach and mentor to private business. In today's video, I wanted to talk to you about a book I read by Cal Newport, um, which is called A World Without Email. Uh, so the title of this video is Email, um, Angel or Devil? And so I just thought I'd work through some of the uh, pros and cons of email, because I want you to think more deeply about how to use email and whether email is an angel or a devil in your working life and, and I guess even widely in your business. So let's start with the, the benefits or the pros uh, of email. Look, when email was, uh, I guess, introduced back in the uh, 90s, I guess, 80, late 80s, early 90s, um, it replaced uh, traditional uh, postal mail, snail mail. Um, it also replaced the uh, inter-office memo, which was very slow and cumbersome. Um, and, you know, that was only sort of as fast as it was delivered by the mail room. So I guess its speed and ease of use was revolutionary when it first came in. Um, it was also very, it's also very beneficial because it can be used as to create a thread of conversation. Um, it can be include updates and attachments um, shared with a multiple number of parties. Um, so on its, you know, on its strengths, there's no question that we all benefit from the use of email and it has revolutionized communication over the last 30 plus years. In terms of the negatives or the cons, um, you know, the devil of email, there are, there are some that often get overlooked. Um, the primary one would be that there is no question in my mind that email has added probably somewhere between one and three hours of what I call maintenance work um, in most workers' daily um, you know, working lives um, that simply never existed prior. Um, it's also created anxiety and stress for workers with the perceived expectation of immediacy, the need to quickly respond or immediately respond. And this has been extended by, um, I guess, the, uh, the access to workers through um, email, um, extending out beyond the traditional um, nine to five working day. So, you know, the access to workers with email has created this expectation, perhaps of an evening or an early morning, of a requirement or an expectation to respond to these emails, rightly or wrongly. Um, email can be used very poorly as well. I mean, it doesn't have any intonation. So, you know, people writing in all caps um, or yelling in the written word, as we used to say, um, can cause conflict, um, as, as can CCing bosses or multiple parties as a, de as a defence to making sure that people are on notice, that there's uh, an expectation through that CCing of multiple parties or certain parties um, that we're watching or waiting uh, for work to be delivered. Um, you know, and it also um, prevents people from working, which is probably one of the biggest issues. It prevents people from working on their key projects and their key priorities and their strategic work. This inability to work on what Cal Newport describes as deep work, which I'll speak about in a later post, um, has been a real um, preventer or blocker of us getting our best work done, our most important work done. So, you know, when you've got one to three hours of um, theft of a working day of, of eight to 10 hours, it's a very significant block. And because of the, um, I guess, the constant and drip fed use of email, it's something that isn't necessarily measured in real time, but the incremental impact of that day in, day out in that, in that sort of one to three hour daily uh, maintenance block um, is a huge thief of time. So we do need to think about the negatives of that. Um, and finally, um, it's not an efficient uh, project management tool. Um, you think about project management tools like Asana and, and um, Trello and so on, um, where everything is stored in one central, central hub, which uh, parties with access to that can go in and update things and, and, and go out. Um, they're very inefficient in having one central storage unit of a status and, and of the status and all of the various attachments, reports and material relating to that project. Email doesn't share those strengths. Um, email is, has an, a wide number of, uh, of threads spread over multiple parties over multiple timelines. So anybody who's had to 
go back and, and reconstruct an email thread in relation to what's happened and where various attachments are, it can be very time consuming to, to actually come up with all of the content or access the content by going back and, and, and going through that thread, multiple threads and multiple timelines over a period of time. So it isn't a, a great um, project management tool. It's, it's best used when you're sending a, a specific email with a particular attachment or a particular narrative or update in regard to one question or one particular communication, whether it be a meeting confirmation through Outlook or something like that. But it certainly isn't a strong management tool. So I think it's worthwhile, um, you know, just pausing to think about both your own uh, work life and your business's uh, use of email and, and get your team members engaged in this as well, because um, without um, taking the time to think about whether it's angel or devil in your working day or your working life uh, and business, um, you're probably missing the, uh, the important opportunity to take stock of where it lives in your world. And I think uh, just, you know, please, um, you know, read Cal Newport's book, A World Without Email. It's really innovative and really, really challenging to make you think more, more, more strategically about how to use email in your working life and in your business. I hope that's created some thoughts in your mind about how you might assess and respond to email. And I look forward to communicating with you next time. All the very best.